Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Sarah Carter finds skeleton in deep state's closet, ruthlessly exposes it. Sarah Carter came out swinging with a new explosive allegation against the deep state. President Trump is under fire for many sides and today he stunned the White House press corps telling them he wants to see the Mueller report made public. Not the actions of a guilty man, and in fact, Trump is planning on running against the Mueller report as he knows it will exonerate him. Trump plans to show the nation, after the report is released and shows that he did nothing wrong, how wrong it was and he plans to jam it down the throats of the deep state and the Democrats in the 2020 election. Sarah wrote, a State Department official who was awaiting confirmation to be U.S. ambassador to Albania communicated with the former British spy Christopher Steele and supplied information to a senior DOJ official after and before the 2016 presidential election. Former State Department Deputy Assistant Secretary Kathleen Ann Kovalik's nomination was withdrawn recently by President Trump, according to a senior White House official who spoke to SarahCarter.com. Kovalik was awaiting to be confirmed as ambassador to Albania, but information surfaced that she had personally met and was in communication with Steele before and after the 2016 presidential election. Kovalik, a longtime State Department employee, worked under Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Nuland. She was also a supporter of former President Obama and Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton, giving a small donation of $250 in 2012 to the Obama Victory Fund and another $250 to Clinton in 2016. State Department officials referred questions regarding Kovalik to the White House. They said they could not discuss Kovalik. However, a senior White House official told SarahCarter.com that President Trump has withdrawn her nomination. She is a career Foreign Service officer who was nominated through the career process the president withdrew her nomination, the White House official said. They noted that she is not pending in the Senate and was never confirmed to the post. Kovalik, as well as her colleague Jonathan Weiner, a former assistant to former Secretary of State John Kerry, supplied information they had collected from Steele to Bruce Orr, said sources familiar with the congressional investigations. Or is a senior Department of Justice official who was used as a back channel for the FBI after Steele was removed from the Bureau for shopping his dossier to the media in 2016. His wife, Nellie Orr, was working in 2016 as a contractor for Fusion GPS, who was hired by the Hillary Clinton campaign and DNC to compile the anti-Trump dossier. The possible involvement of U.S. ambassadors in the FBI's probe into the Trump campaign was revealed by Rep. Mark Meadows, RNC on Fox News' Sean Hannity program Monday night. Meadows told Hannity there are players now, even ambassadors that are sitting ambassadors that were involved in part of this with the FBI and DOJ. Emails obtained by this news site reveal Kovalik and Orr had been in contact with Steele prior to and after the 2016 presidential election. The two had also communicated through email and meetings about Steele's research on the anti-Trump dossier, according to the documents. Kovalik also referenced her meeting with Steele in the back-and-forth email exchange. She told Orr about information Steele shared on Million. Kovalik's confirmation hearing was cancelled in January, 2019 following the requests of several senators sitting on Foreign Relations Committee who were concerned about her communications with Orr and Steele. The lawmakers had requested additional information on Kovalik based on the emails and documents they had obtained. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.